Welcome back to the den for my review of Old Bush Malt. I discussed it briefly during my review of Valcrucis. This is from Murphy and McNeil. It's been out for a while now. I've owned it for about a year. I wanted to do a review of it for some time and just real briefly I'll tell you why I have decided to do so today. If you follow my content you might recall me mentioning that Bill from Murphy and McNeil had sent me a soap set for the upcoming We Shave Community Appreciation Giveaway. That's a mouthful. And what was it that he sent? Can you guess it? That's right. It's a set of Old Bush Malt. The splash is, mine is just um, regular, meaning no menthol and no frost. Frost is a synthetic menthol and you can get the splash like mine for $24.99. When you add the menthol, that adds $2.50. The frost is the premium ingredient. And if you add frost, that's a $2.75. So just call it $3. It's a $28 bottle of splash. And then the soaps are four ounces for $22.99. So that's, just call that 23, right? Thank you, Bill. I appreciate you and he has offered up one hell of a deal um one hell of a gift rather um and something i've been getting to know bill more and more over the last year or so my boba fett soaker something that has once again impressed me with bill and his character is i actually reached out to him when the bush malt came and i said to him something to the effect of um it's really cool you know that you sent bush malt because i have it and love it and blah 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 and that's when he mentioned that he had recalled me saying that during um my review of Alcrucis. so i just thought it was really cool that he um strategically sent that and knowing that i really enjoyed this fragrance and i do the top notes Without any further ado, let's get into this. The top notes. Plum whiskey. In the heart, we find cedar and balsam. And in the base is vanilla. Balsam can come from a variety of different oils and resins. I can't help but wonder if this isn't a fir balsam or some type of tree balsam. Plum, I have up here for your visual stimulus. Not too long ago, I did a review of Plum Doppelganger from Phoenix Artists and Accoutrements. And Plum is an extremely diverse scent note. Depending on where it is in the accord, it can bring out different characteristics. So if it's in the top notes with other notes that follow it, it can come to life one particular way. And a lot of notes are like this, but from what I understand, plum um, takes is one of those notes that kind of takes it to the next degree. And also if it's in the middle or in the base, it can um, act a little differently as well. So with this one, we have the plum right up on top, followed by the whiskey. Now, this is kind of a double homage, and I'll put a couple of clippings up here to some old school Ireland, um, Aqua Vita, which is water of life. And there's a whiskey that I now want to try that is called exactly that. And it's been around for like, what is it, since 1275 or something. Um, so this is an homage to the old world. Um, and that's also why this is done in the slantia base. I'll put a photo of the ingredients of that right up here. The Guinness stout that's in this gives it a nice dark color. This is one of my favorite bases. At first, um, I actually thought that this was the Kodiak base and that's because I learned that my um, label 
my my uh, tub got the wrong sticker put on it, which is totally awesome and just made me learn the ingredients all the more. Look at this lather that I already have before even applying it to my face. That light. I like it when I'm standing back, but when I get too close, kind of erg. Anywho, my Rodak bowl. Did I already say that? So the plum in this guy here. No pre-shave um, going on today. I literally just got out of the shower a few minutes ago. Put on some clothes. You're welcome. I already had my setup and uh, got to it. Using my Excelsior, this is a finest badger? No, best badger. My Galahad has a finest. This is a, a Smoke best badger and I love it. So no actual pre-shave, just a freshly shaved, washed face. Oh, the plum. I always try keeping my hat on, and then half the time, I just like tag with it. A rich, fruity, slightly sweet, a sensual fruit. The whiskey in this. I love this fragrance. My wife loved this fragrance and Emily is eh with the fragrance for those keeping scorecards at home of what my wife and Emily thinks of the fragrance. The whiskey, so whiskey belongs, I, I watched a review of this and someone said that they didn't think this was a, a woody fragrance. I disagree. This is a, a boozy, masculine, woody, sweet fragrance. Whiskey belongs to the uh, wood family when we're talking olfactory, olfactory families. Whiskey belongs to the wood olfactory family. And I believe that, yes, while we have cedar and balsam in the heart, that the whiskey in this is imparting a wood note, a grainy, woody with a hint of like caramel sweetness, creamy and buttery, a delicious whiskey if ever there was one. And I imagine that Aqua Vita or Vita, however you say it, just reading the sales page and the website, it looks like it's a, a tasty whiskey, a nice sipping whiskey. Oh crap, I just realized the only thing I don't have is my bowl um, for rinsing. Give me two seconds, I need something to dip my razor in to rinse it in between passes. Did you miss me? I missed you. What was I saying? I know what I was about to say. I'm using the shadow today. If you watched We Shave, this last, uh, the August edition of We Shave, Ben, the owner of We Shave, joined uh, of Shave It Shave Co. joined us. They're going out of business. The website closes down um, September 25th. I love this razor. I can't say enough good things about this razor. The tolerances, the medium efficiency. And right now, everything on their website is at a steal of a price. I have loaded in it a first use feather. I used my Spider-Man scoop. In the heart, we find the cedar, and I am a huge fan of cedar. The cedar in this is a soft, woody, warm aroma. This is loosely based off, it's not a clone, it's an homage. There is some differences to Killian's single malt, um, which is a EDP. Couple of difference, differences in the ingredients when it comes to the 
Accord. It's been a year since I've tried it. This does smell extremely similar. I can't say for sure. However, the Bassam, I do believe, is some type of fur Bassam. And it, I have it on the back of my left hand. I love this fragrance. I need to get the EDP, the Balm, and the Solid that I, I have for the Valcrucis. And I need to give Old Bush Malt the same treatment. Sweet, amber, and balsamic. That, the, the amber notes I'm getting might be coming from the vanilla that's in the base. But I, I can't help but wonder if some of that isn't coming from the middle of this because I am getting it a little bit more up front. This is a very complex fragrance. The you could swear that there is more notes in this than what are listed, and that is always a great indicator for me that we're dealing with an expertly crafted, well blended fragrance. I've never had a bad, I've never found a bad blade for this razor. Thinking with the We Shave, what we're going to do, the September guest on We Shave is Lee Hazley. Set right the first time, and I'm going to leave it at the first time. Lee Hazley. Waiting to hear back from Lee for an exact date. So we have that one spot open on the We Shave giveaway. For the entry. My plan is to announce the seventh entrant the week before that we shave. And then in September with Lee, um, which Lee could end up being, Lee is one of the, the six winners so far. Um, we will draw winner number seven and winner number six. And then in October, we have Mike Demish, who is Old Fart Mike. Uh, we will draw winners number five. I'm going to just spray some water in my face. We'll draw five and four. And then in November, Wendell Pap Shaves, he will be on We Shave. And we will do one, two, and three. I will have all seven names in a hat. And I will have my assistant on hand pulling the names out of the hat and handing them to me. Uh, I think since the last time we spoke, so I had mentioned I didn't have quite have com commitments out of a few different companies as, to, as of what they were exactly um, putting into the pot, if you will. Alien Shave is doing a $50 gift card to their website. I didn't get an exact amount out of Van Ule, Monica, uh, but she will be doing, I can't tell you this, I know the gift card will be enough for a soap and a splash. PAA is doing a scuttle. Sterling, uh, I did mention that in the video, Sterling is doing a soap set. And I think just before Lee, I might do a live or you or a video on here and present everything, including the things that I have that I have purchased. I purchased a whole bunch of stuff that I shared in that We Shave giveaway video just for this giveaway, and then also stuff out of my den that I previously, you know, owned for or purchased for other purposes. I'm excited. I still can't believe that I took the plunge uh, a little over a year ago. It was a year ago in June, so about 14, 15 months ago, I started doing these wee shaves, and I was so 
nervous a few months before that when I started doing lives with the four different guys that I did a live with for my first time, or first couple of times really. My first was uh, on splay time. No, it was straight line MBD, and then it was splay time. That's what it was. So nervous. Damn fine shave. I could use a little bit of cleanup right there, but I'm going to call that good. And here in a few minutes, it should be just, just fine. I want to thank Bill again for sending this out to me. I appreciate you, Bill, very much. Oh, did oh yeah, I did. I was, I was just thinking. I was like, did I, did I finish off the scent profile? I did. And the, the vanilla is 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 all I can really say about the vanilla is adding a, a sweet caramely vanilla esque ness to it. It's really kind of hard to pick out the vanilla um, by itself until you get way into the dry down. This fragrance does last um, eight twelve hours. After a few hours. It will, it, on my skin, a cut from the other day, um, it leaves. Like, I can go to bed, and if I put it on the back of my hand, like I did when I got out of the shower, I guarantee you, when I wake up in the morning, it's 6.30 p.m. right now. I'll go to bed here in a few hours. And when I wake up at 6 a.m. tomorrow, I expect to be able to faintly still smell this on the back of my hand. Damn good stuff, Maynard. Damn good stuff, Maynard. I love the post-shave feel um, from even just the splash alone. And you combine that with uh, the, uh, Bill's Balm. It's amazing. Amazing. It's good stuff. Damn good stuff. Highly recommend checking out this fragrance. And one thing that's cool, too, is Bill has, you know, the EDP, but you can... Um, in a two ounce bottle you can also get it in a uh, half ounce a 0.5 ounce bottle so that's 15 milliliters and that one's like 19.99 and then with the soap to sample it if you want i forget the that write it down yeah the soap is also a half ounce so you get instead of getting the four ounces for 22.99 with the soap if you just want to sample the base and sample the fragrance you can pick that up for 4.99 one of the things I spend a lot of my time and money on with Murphy and McNeil. If you've never checked it out, uh, Bill on his website has this huge uh, secondhand type shop setup. Think like eBay or Etsy. And even you could create your own account with Bill and sell stuff directly from your own house on Bill's website. Or you could sell it all to Bill and then mail it to Bill and then Bill would sell it. But I spent, and then also Murphy and McNeil themselves, they offer a lot of, you know, things that they have too much of or their own products that are, you know, used or slightly used uh, at a great price. And then it's fairly common that Bill does a 20% off sale. And when he does that, I'll put a ton of stuff in my cart and it's just like kid at the candy store thank you for joining me chief wahoo thanks you remember kids electricity kills it's the little big things little big things like artisans who are engaged and participate in the community it's good stuff maynard thank you bill i appreciate guys like you you're doing everything right from where i'm standing still getting to know you but uh i appreciate you and everything that you do for not only my channel and my content, but for the community. Um, yeah. Bravo. Old Bush Malt. Good stuff. One of the seven are going to be taking that home. And that is with the Frost Synthetic Menthol that I've still never tried. Hmm. Take care. Thanks for joining me.